Hello and welcome to another video by OutSystems Advocacy Team. My name is Jay Santos and this week we're going to talk about how to work with long strings in OutSystems. This has been a topic that have popped up, popped up on some support tickets and I want to show you how to work with long strings in a way that does not affect performance. I want to start by showing that we'll be working with an entity uh, called movies and as you can see here this entity have 10,000 records and it's pretty straightforward in terms of information I have one string which is the title of the movie and the year the movie was produced and that's it uh, let me just remove here the count there you go and I have a very simple screen here with uh, only one button where I'm going to start the concatenation process and an expression that's going to show the concatenated string. Now, once again, I want to do, do this as simply as possible, as straightforward as possible, just to show the, the performance impact on how to work uh, with long strings. I already have here a screen action prepared, and on this screen action, all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go over the information I get, the list I get from the preparation, and I'm going to set my local parameter concatenated string. I'm going to call the concat function. And I'm going to pass as parameters the string itself. And first of all, the movie title. And then I'm going to have another sign where I'm going to put the year. Now, as you see, I'm not doing any formatting or anything. Because once again, I want this to be as straightforward as possible. But I could be here uh, preparing, say, an XML blob or a serialized file. Well, I'm not going to say a JSON file because we have uh, native JSON methods like serialize and the serialize. But I could be doing a YAML file or once again, X, an XML blob or whatever. Right. So I'm going to call concat again. And on the second concatenation method, I'm going to add the year. There you go. I'm going to <coughs> go over the list. So that's it in terms of our method. This is all I'm going to do. I'm going to go over the list. I'm going to concatenate the year, the, the title and the year on my uh, local parameter, which in turn is being shown on the expression on the screen. So I'm going to publish this. And I'm going to open my page. There you go. As I said, very straightforward. And before I press the button, I am going to uh, open up a stopwatch here so we can see how long, how long the process of concatenating the 10,000 records is going to take. So I'm going to click the button and press start. And there you go. It took me around 40 seconds to get the 10,000 records concatenated. As you, as you can see, once again, the pretty straightforward concatenation, title year, title year. But once again, I could be building here a serialized file. So in full disclosure, on previous tests, this, uh, this time varied some, something between 35 seconds to 44 seconds. On this run here, it took me uh, 41 seconds. Now, it takes this long because this is not the correct way to work with large, uh, large strings with, with a big uh, with a, a string of, a, of, a, of, of such a length. The correct way would be to use the string builder, the string builder uh, actions, which you can find, let me close this screen here, and I'm going to go to dependencies, and you can find the string builder methods in the text component, there you go, and you can find here the string, string builder append, string builder create, and the string builder to string methods, which is the methods we're going to use to do the exact same uh, process. 
So I've already imported them on my project. I'm going to click OK. Just close this window. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable these two elements. Let's move them away. And I'm going to go to my logic. And I have here on my text component, uh, I'm going to first call the string builder create method where I can set the initial capacity of, of the string builder. I'm just going to put 124. Uh, it's going to be expanded anyway uh, in the middle of the process. So because we're working with such a large string. And then on the iteration, I'm going to call string builder append. And on string builder append, the parameters are the string builder itself, which is the output of my string builder create action and the string I want to append, which in our case, once again, it is the return of my preparation. So first of all, the title, and then I'm gonna call it again. And I, I could, you know, I could call it on the same append method, but let's do it separate. Because I want to do exactly what I did on, on the run with the concat method. There you go. Uh, so I'm appending the title, I'm appending the year, I close the loop. Then I call the string builder to string server action, which will convert uh, my string builder to a string. And finally, I'm going to assign my local parameter concatenated string to the output of this to string action. There you go. So pretty much the same thing I'm doing with the two concats, but now using string builder, which all it took me was a couple more calls for the create and the conversion to a string. I'm going to publish again. And now that it's published, I'm going to open this new version. There you go. I'm going to reset my stopwatch once again. Remember, the run using the concat method took 41 seconds. I'm going to reset the timer. I'm going to press the button, press the stopwatch, and I barely had time to press the stopwatch. So in basically less than a second, you have concatenated the 10,000 uh, 10, records of the entity using string builder instead of uh, regular strings. So that's it for today's video. I hope it, uh, it was useful. And once again, all the feedback is very appreciated about the videos by the advocacy team. If you have any suggestions about topics, if you have any questions, please let us know. And we'll, we're trying to make uh, better and better videos for the community. Thank you very much, and I see you in the next video.